truth always needs a champion, and it's always been the case. For 250 years, Britannica has been providing trusted and verified information. Britannica's mission is to inspire curiosity and the joy of learning. We do that with informational text, with providing journal and magazine content, with primary source documents, with multimedia, so images and videos. We take the extra time and care to make sure that our content is vetted, reliable, and that when they come to Britannica, they know for sure that they're getting quality resources. We at Britannica are very lucky to have people like Albert Einstein who've written things for us. When you hear about theory of relativity from Albert Einstein, it's going to be very different from what you hear from somebody like me talking about theory of relativity. You're actually hearing things from the person who's been the closest to it. Even though we've been successful for 250 years, we feel that we are in the infancy of our journey today. From an education point of view, we're thinking about ways to personalize learning. Not everybody learns the same way. Our flagship product for schools is Britannica School, and it's got content at three different reading levels that every student can access. Instead of mass producing education, can we start mass personalizing education so that education and learning becomes an exciting activity so that lifelong learning becomes part of their DNA? More and more we're getting into specifically how do we support the classroom teacher. And that's where a product like Launchpacks comes in. Launchpacks has a social studies and a science component that really helps provide content for personalized learning. So we work really closely with teachers to help them reach their goals and embed Britannica into their lessons and into their classrooms. They need to be able to know that they're going to have the right types of content for each student that are outlined in the standards today. Launchpacks gives them the, the, the launching point to begin to build those kinds of lessons. We have a strong presence in 83 different countries. We have access to 150 million students worldwide. And it's a crazy number, but the way that we do that is we partner with schools, we partner with districts, and we also partner with states. Our goal is to make sure that we're not just in these 83 different countries that we are in today. Our goal is to transform education in all corners of the world. We plan to do that by partnering with organizations, including the UN and the Ministries of Education, to really play a part in driving that transformation. Government institutions, media outlets like the New York Times, uh, museums like the Smithsonian, they're all relying on Britannica as a trusted resource for vetted information. We have five billion page views a year, and we are in the top 10 reference category across the world. Learning happens when people communicate and connect with each other. So more of Britannica's focus going forward is going to be on how do we start building communities where people can have conversations. Our community programming really reaches educators across the globe. Uh, we do events that are very local and we also lead trainings and we do workshops. Everyday learning is important and learning can happen anywhere. So on the discovery front, we're doing multiple things. Tomorrow, the dominant medium through which people are going to communicate with computers and other gadgets is through voice. So our goal is to figure out how do you become the trusted voice assistant that's out there in the marketplace. We've launched Britannica Insights, which helps people get good information. And where Britannica has something meaningful to add, that information is going to show up on the top right. It was very interesting when YouTube took upon itself to make sure that it's providing better information to the universe. They reached out to Britannica and said, could you really help us fight conspiracy theories? Britannica has been changing lives for 250 years. I, I think really Britannica revolutionized the way people learn and the way, the way people have access to information. And that's what the next 250 years are going to be all about is continuing to push the limits and making knowledge available to everyone. How do you enhance curiosity? Curiosity comes from people understanding the joy of learning. That's what we need. And Britannica's goal and our mission is to inspire curiosity and the joy of learning in new and engaging ways for the next 250 years.